It's quite surprising. I mean, we were generally expecting Maersk to be uh, in the red here, if not just in the black. So and this is, this is a positive result for Maersk, particularly when you consider that the nearest rivals uh, across the board have pretty much reported losses across Q2. Um, I think Maersk have certainly shown some discipline in terms of the cost control. Um, I think um, their, their size allows them economies of scale, but they, 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 there's no masking this. This is a good result for Maersk. What about these underlying issues, this drop in freight rates uh, and also this, uh, this idea of overcapacity, that the demand simply isn't there anymore? Well, sure. I mean, the freight rates are part and parcel of the overcapacity situation. You've got an influx of tonnage, very large tonnage, particularly in the container lines, um, coming onto the water right at the moment where world trade is not growing as quickly as, as, as we would hope. Um, the Q2 results have been affected quite radically by the uh, drop in European demand. Um, we've seen a recent uh, uptick in the freight rates over the last few weeks, but that is part and parcel of a very seasonal demand for restocking um, as we lead up to Christmas. Peak season probably uh, is not as peak as we would like it to have been, but it is certainly increasing the uh, freight rates across the main Asia to Europe uh, trade lanes at mm -hmm. the moment. And what about this idea, Richard, that we can look at the results of a company like Maersk and use it as a sort of a bellwether or a barometer, if you like, on the health of the global economy? Uh, to a point, I think that is still true. I mean, certainly uh, a, a company the size of Maersk, which has operations not just in container lines but across tankers, uh, oil and gas, um, their results are seen as a bellwether for the economy. But I think you have to um, tread with care when looking at these things because... Um, shipping is a massively diversified industry. It is uh, affected by uh, very sector-specific fundamentals. And as I say, the overcapacity issue is very much a, a shipping-led issue and not necessarily a reflector of, of world trade.